The new Beats Studio Buds Plus look awesome, but are they worth it compared to buying the AirPods Pro 2 or the Nothing Ear 2? Well, today we will find out because we're gonna compare everything from the design, the battery performance, the sound quality, active noise cancellation, microphone quality, which is important, and more. Now, I really like the original Studio Buds because they had killer sound quality, really good active noise cancellation, especially compared to the original AirPods Pro when they came out. So I actually use them quite a bit, but once the AirPods Pro 2 came out, they crushed them. And now we have the new Studio Buds Plus and Vadim, look at Man, that. What do you think of this design? It is actually even better than I saw from the images. I can't believe how many different components they have packed in here. You see the battery, we see this hinge mechanism uh, with that top bar, let's check that out. All right, that magnet actually seems stronger than before and it's so cool being able to see that magnet there, that magnet up top, which is really large, and even an additional one right here where the hinge is. So this thing looks super cool. And comparing the cases, I mean, the Beats one is the same as before. It is much larger than the AirPods Pro 2, which I love how small the AirPods Pro case is. It's taller, longer, it is thicker as well, so that is a downside. Now comparing them to the Nothing Ear 2, uh, well, it's not as tall, which is good, but it is longer and thickness is about the same, slightly thicker on the Beats. Personally, I think I would prefer the Beats because it is not as tall, so it's gonna take up a little bit less space, be less noticeable in your pocket. Let's take a look at the earbud itself. It is similar to before, but once again, look at all the components that are in there. We see what looks like the battery there, or maybe it's the case for the driver. We have the microphones, we have some magnets and some pins right here. That is super cool. Now, the way this works, as you guys see, it's stemless. You actually have a button up top that you press, but it actually looks different than the previous Studio Buds. You can't click here. You can actually click at the top right there and that actually feels nice. It takes a lot less force than it did on their previous one. So let's go ahead and put this in. I wanna test it out. So yeah, very little pressure, which is great, because before, when you would press down, the button would be large and it would shift where it sits in your ear. So that is a nice upgrade, but personally, let me grab and put the nothing ear in. I actually prefer this stem design where you actually pinch to control it. You get a nice click, it's really tactile, and you get less shifting in the earbud doing it this way. Now popping in the AirPods Pro 2, this has the same design that nothing pretty much borrowed, but the awesome thing is this also has a touch sensitive a surface so you can swipe down to reduce volume or up to increase it and at first I didn't think I was going to use that very often but I started using it more and more because of how convenient it is. Now some people do prefer the design of the Beats because you don't have that stem, you have less sticking out of your ear and I could definitely see that but in general it is a little bit larger, more bulbous because of all the components they have to fit into there. Um, and as far as weight, I mean, both of these are so light, and I think they made the new Beats actually slightly lighter than before, and the AirPods are actually a little bit heavier and a bit larger than the Nothing Ear. Now, there is one major downside for me with these Beats, and that's the fact that they do not have wireless charging. That sucked with the previous ones, and I cannot believe that they didn't add it to the new version. That feels like they're just doing it to help sell the AirPods Pro 2 because it has that. These can also charge with an Apple Watch charger. It makes it more flexible, and the nothing, even though they're cheaper, have wireless charging built in, so that is a bummer for me. But on the positive, the battery life is excellent. The earbuds themselves 
have six hours of battery life with active noise cancellation turned on compared to five and a half with the AirPods Pro 2. And the Nothing only gets four hours with active noise cancellation. And then with the Beats, if you turn the active noise cancellation off, you actually get nine hours of battery life, which is killer. And the Nothing Buds only get about 22 hours total charge compared to 36 on these Beats. And then the AirPods Pro 2 get 30 hours. So the Beats are definitely a battery king. Now the other cool thing is that you have fast pairing on an iPhone, but you also have that with Android devices and it will actually link to Android Cloud as well. So it'll pair to your other Android devices just like it does on an iPhone, which you do not get that uh, functionality as well with the nothing ear. And the other cool thing is that you get Find My Tracking for the Beats in your app, which you won't get with the nothing. And you can also play a sound to try to find them. Now, as you guys hear, it is actually playing the sound from the buds themselves, not from the case like you have with the AirPods Pro 2 with that speaker built in. So it is nicer uh, if you lose the AirPods, you can find them easier, especially because it basically has an AirTag built into it, which will guide you to the exact spot where they are at. So that is definitely a win for the AirPods Pro 2. And now let's test out the active noise cancellation. I have this airplane sound opened up right right here, uh, and the Beats are supposed to be 1.6 times better active noise cancellation than the previous ones. Let's crank this up since airplanes are loud, and even without active noise cancellation on, these have really, really good sound isolation by themselves because of the fully sealed design. Now let's go into the app, noise control on. All right, wow. So that cut out a ton of that low end, but the high end is still very, very apparent and noticeable. Now, uh, let me go ahead and pop these out. Let's put in the AirPod Pros 2. Oh, dang. That is way better. The low end is slightly quieter, but the high frequencies are a lot quieter, about half the volume compared to the beats. And now let's pop in the nothing ear. These things are very close to the AirPods Pro 2. The low end is identical, better than the beats, but the high end is somewhere in between the beats and the AirPods. So let me pause that right now and just say that the Beats have the worst noise cancellation. It is definitely noticeable. Now let's test how Vadim's voice is. Vadim, go ahead and say something. Hey, hey, what's up, man? I hear you pretty well. It's cutting out some of your low end. Let's try out the Beats here. Hey, hey, how's it going? You're louder, you sound more natural with nice. the Beats. And then lastly, the AirPods Pro 2. Hey, hey, how do I sound with those ones? The most quiet, the quietest out of the bunch. Really. The high end is dropped down even more, so you still can't compete with the AirPods in terms of noise cancellation. Now, the Beats also have the transparency mode, which is supposed to be a lot better because of the better mics. Let's start out with the best of the best. Vadim, go ahead and say something. Hey, man, how do I sound? Good? You sound pretty much identical to how you normally nice. sound. Very good. The nothing ears. How do I sound with the nothing? You sound like you have a cold. <laughs> Your high end is gone. Wow. The low end sounds normal, but definitely not good. And I sound very weird talking in these in transparency mode. And now let's try the beats. How do I sound with the beats? You sound actually better than the nothing. Nice. Your high end is still gone but it is nothing compared to the AirPods Pro 2. And now let's compare the microphone quality. These are the new Beats Studio Buds Plus upgraded microphones. And this is their microphone quality using the built-in mics in the Nothing Ear 2. And this is their microphone quality with Apple's AirPods Pro 2. 
And then one more time for the Beats so you guys can hear them compared to the AirPods Pro 2. Let me know in the comments which one sounds better to you because the previous Beats had terrible microphones. Now I did notice one very weird thing about these Beats. As soon as you start using the microphone, if you're in transparency mode and probably active noise cancellation mode, it actually shuts that off and goes to the default off mode. And that is very weird because you can't hear your environment. Whereas the other ones in the AirPods, it will stay in transparency mode and it sounds a lot more natural. And that's something that you can't read on the specs. And now let's get to the sound quality comparison. You guys can see my reactions. We're gonna cut between uh, the three different earbuds and then I'll let you guys know what I'm hearing. All right, that was very interesting. First off, the beats don't shut off when you take them out of your ears. What the heck is going on? They don't have sensors built in. And I remember reading about that, but that is terrible for 2023 where the other ones will. Now, as far as sound quality, I also think the beats sound the worst. Uh, they have a ton of bass, the highs are very crisp, but they're harsh. Whereas the Nothing is very naturally tuned, the AirPods have a little bit more highs. I would say the AirPods sounded the best, the beat sounded worse. And now let's switch to our next track. Alrighty, well, that song's a lot harder. There's a lot going on, just like you guys heard. And the beats, once again, sounded the worst. Now, the bass there sounded fantastic, but once again, the highs are very harsh. Even the vocals sound harsh. Uh, the instrument separ separation isn't terrible, but it is worse than the AirPods. Now, that's not saying a lot because the AirPods, they actually have the synth that gets covered up by all the other instruments. It gets hidden in that really tough track. Whereas the Nothing earbuds, even though they don't get as loud as the other two, and I do like my music loud, they sound very balanced. All the instruments come through. The synth still comes through the other layers of sound and the Nothing uh, Buds 2, the Nothing Ear 2, uh, these sounded the best in that track. And you can listen at full volume for a long time and not have your ears get tired. Whereas with the beat, that will absolutely happen. Uh, now, Vadim, what about sound leakage between these three? I'd say that the beats had by far the most, especially like the sharp sounds. The highs, I yeah. And that that is what was just like hurting my ears. And I like higher, sharper frequencies than most people do. So that is a bit disappointing. So I will have to say, we tested these two different tracks in the beats, even though they don't sound bad, in 2023, they are a bit disappointing. So if you care about sound quality, I would say go for the AirPods or the Nothing. These are both very good. And with that said, for 170 bucks, this case, the translucent version looks super cool. And that might be the biggest selling point uh, about these. The noise cancellation is, isn't as good. I think the microphones are probably worse as well. No wireless charging. I think they are disappointing. You'd be much better off if you're an Android user or even an iPhone user to go for the Nothing Ear 2. And if you want the overall best package with a lot of extra features built into that case, 
great transparency mode, uh, go for the AirPods Pro 2. Of course, they are discounted now. You can pick them up on Amazon using links down below. And you guys let me know your thoughts if you bought a pair of Beats, but personally, as you guys could tell, I'm a bit disappointed. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out our other comparisons right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next one.